Did you know that the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers games basically have a built-in cheat code function? With Wonder Mail codes, you can generate any sort of mission the game could reasonably produce. What makes this feature so OP is that you can manipulate the mission to reward you with any item or any non-legendary Pokemon. Using a Wonder Mail generator, of which there are many online, you can create easy missions that give big rewards. Rewards. A caveat to giving yourself any Pokemon through this is that they will always join your team at level 1. Doesn't matter if it's Garchomp or Tyranitar, these guys will be at the lowest possible baby level. The most overpowered item you can get through this method is the Golden Seed, which boosts a Pokemon's level by 5. You can also use this to immediately give you rare Pokemon-specific boosting items, which are often extremely difficult to get your hands on. On. With this, you could give yourself any Pokemon, get it to level 100, and equip it with the strongest boosting item without having to do anything more than play a few easy missions in early game dungeons. Isn't that terrible? That completely ruins the game. There's no challenge anymore. You're basically cheating at this point. I suggest not allowing yourself to touch this Pandora's box of a feature in this game as it will ruin your gameplay experience. There is one place in the game I still suggest using the feature, and that is to collect all of the unknown stones required to complete Aegis Cave, which is the most tedious dungeon in the entire game. If you're curious about what's so awful about this dungeon and why I would justify cheating to get through it, check out this video over on my main channel. Or if if you'd like to see some of my other content, check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.